We're at the EANM booth and we're here to present the EBNM's Certificate of Fellowship Award. And well done to all the candidates receiving a certificate as the exam is by no means easy but quite challenging. Mr. Bogsrund, can you explain the importance of this exam and the reason why it is mostly taken by physicians from Asian countries like India, Iran or Saudi Arabia, for example? These countries, they do, that, do not have their own uh, board exam, national board exam, and uh, there are no Asian board exam as well like we have in Europe. And um, we know that the standard of the education in these countries, it varies within the countries and between the countries. And uh, this exam is sort of a guarantee that they have achieved the um, high European standard in the field of, of nuclear medicine. Well, I think that all refer remains now is for you to present each candidate with their award. Then I'm very happy to deliver the diplomas to the candidates that successfully passed this exam. Welcome to the Springer booth. The European Journal of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging Prize Awards for outstanding scientific papers, published in the journal in 2013 and the most cited paper in 2013. To present the awards, the president of the EANM, Fred Wertzelbergen, and Dr. Uta Heilmann, editorial director of Medicine Springer. Dr. Heilmann, the EJNMMI has reached an impressive impact factor of 5,217, which is the highest ranking of a journal in the field of medical imaging. Does this reflect the good cooperation of EANM and Springer? Yes, this definitely reflects this good cooperation, what we have since many, many years. And in this amicable environment, the journal could grow. We have now also two more journals, sister journals. Uh, and with this good cooperation, we could yeah, enhance the visibility of these journals. And we have with increasing membership and increasing submission of papers, a wonderful option to select best papers and the wise decisions of the editor-in-chief as well as the good peer reviewing, the strict peer reviewing, yeah, gives us the opportunity to raise the impact factor to 5.2 as ever. Thank you, thank you. Mr. President, would you say that the high impact factor has contributed to the very high standard of these papers? Yes, uh, the, the high standard of the papers uh, in, uh, uh, caused an increase in the impact factor. Moreover, it attracts even better papers. It is the combination of the quality of the papers and the work of the editorial office. And uh, since the impact factor is very high for imaging journal, we receive more and more papers from, from ab abroad, from the rest of the world, which will further increase the quality of the journal. I'm very proud of that. Thank you. Thank you. And at this stage, we'll get on with the prize giving ceremony. The award for the best technical paper goes to Dr. Karl von Gaal. The award for the best basic science paper goes to Dr. Nobuyuku Okamara. And with us today to collect the award is the co-author and welcome Dr. Ryuchi Harada. The award for the best clinical paper goes to Dr. Ali Afshar. And the award for the most cited paper 
goes to Professor Ronald Bullard. The work of the nuclear medicine technologist is invaluable. It not only requires a knowledge of the health sciences and computer technology, but most important, patient care and the art of being able to communicate with people. An invaluable skill, especially when you are confronted on a daily basis with frightened and distressed patients, their families and friends. So today we would like to award the three best oral presentations as well as the three best poster presentations at this year's conference. We would also like to thank Malincote Pharmaceuticals for supporting this initiative by providing the Meta Award for the best oral presentation. And here to present the awards today are the EANM President-elect, Arturo Chiti, and the Chair of the EANM Technologist Committee, Giorgio Testanera. Mr. Chiti, how would you describe the quality of the Technologist Programme at this year's Congress? Of course, it's a great programme and uh, the, the great advantage is that it, it has been designed and uh, set up by the technologists and uh, they are a very active group and of course we are definitely trying to do our best to support this program because as I already mentioned we do need to give very high level education to all the professionals which are working in the field. And Mr. Testanera, the technologist plays a major role in nuclear medicine, requiring both technical and social skills. Are these skills given enough recognition by the EANM? Well, definitely, definitely, because well, EANM with this con great Congress and all the activities give us really a professional uh, structure in which all this piece of research and most of the piece of research are made also on things that are really helpful for taking care of patients. Uh, they can really fit well. And I can see in years the numbers and also the real quality of this presentation and of, of the posters is really increasing. And I have to thank EANM for giving the professional methods that we are dealing and technologies are really fitting in it. So without further ado, we proceed with the award ceremony. The best poster presentation goes to Jose Adalberto Pierez Jorge. The second nominee for best poster presentation goes to Wen Chi Wei. And the third nominee for Best Poster Presentation goes to Mia Hakala. The award for Best Oral Presentation, the Meta Award, goes to Maryam Yesop. The second nominee for Best Oral Presentation is awarded to Monica Casanova-Martins, but she is unable to be here today. So we move on to the third nominee for Best Oral Presentation, and that is Raul Sanchez. Welcome to the 6th EANM Young Investigators Award. The purpose of this award is to attract more young investigators and offer them the recognition and support required for their ongoing projects and promote their involvement in the field of nuclear medicine. I would like to announce the winner, uh, Uta Eberlein. Uh, I would like to call Uta on stage. Thank you. 
Welcome to the EANM Eckert and Siegler Abstract Award. Now these awards are reserved for young authors of good quality abstracts which are accepted for presentation at the EANM Annual Congress. The purpose of the award is to encourage young and talented nuclear medicine researchers to submit their results to the Congress and to receive the financial support to attend the meeting and present their work. Now, with me we have the President of the EANM, Fred Wurzelbergen. Mr. President, um, the EANM Eckert and Siegler Abstract Awards are reserved for the distinguished work of young researchers. Is EANM doing enough to encourage and support these young researchers? We do a, lot, do a lot, but still not enough. Uh, I think we can uh, improve in this respect and find more ways to stimulate young researchers to, uh, to, to produce and to present their work during these congresses, but also during meetings of clinical societies, for instance. But we have more things to, um, to work on. For instance, we want to have young top leaders uh, we need to train them to become the future leaders of the ENM. And so th there are several lines we introduced for young uh, nuclear physicians. But we, we improve and we will invest a lot in them in the future. Dr. Hess, you are a member of the board of management at Eckert and Siegler. The support uh, Eckert and Siegler provides to young researchers is invaluable. How would you describe the standard of the winning papers? Yeah, first of all, I would just say that uh, it's a big pleasure for us to have the opportunity to support these young scientists. It is an outstanding, excellent work. And I've looked into the papers, into the five papers selected by the ENM jury. They were excellent, outstanding contributions, for example, in the field of infection imaging. There was an interesting paper f uh, in the field of using Y90, Utrium 90, uh, for the dosimetry in connection with the radio embolization. And there are also other interesting contributions. So we, I think that is really outstanding work. So thank you very much to our young researchers. Thanks a lot. And so without further ado, we will now present the awards. And the first presentation goes to Egeste Lopci. Next, Sim Yong Yuk. Bethany Mills. And collecting the certificate for Kathy Willison, we have the co author, Professor Dale Bailey. And finally, Lars Kurt. <laughs> 